James Webb Space Telescope has just delivered something no one expected. And nothing in the scientific world feels stable anymore. What began as an ordinary spectral scan of an interstellar comet has spiraled into the most disruptive astrobiological discovery in human history. And the strangest part? The evidence doesn't point to a planet, an exoplanet atmosphere, or even a distant star system. It points to 3i Atlas, a Manhattan-sized visitor drifting silently into our solar system and carrying something that looks dangerously close to life. The story began with a faint, asymmetric glow, a whisper of light so subtle that most observatories dismissed it as noise. But Webb doesn't misinterpret noise. Its infrared instruments are calibrated to detect the faintest energies across cosmic distances. And what it recorded didn't match any known category of comet activity, mineral reflection, or thermal emission. It was organized, stable, structured. At first, astronomers assumed they were looking at yet another curiosity from 3i Atlas, the third verified interstellar object to ever enter our solar system. But as Webb increased its exposure time, the glow strengthened, split, and multiplied across the spectrum. Each wavelength contained patterns, repeating emissions, periodic structures, and molecular signatures far too coordinated to belong to random chemistry. The first shock came when researchers identified carbon chains far longer and more complex than anything seen in abiotic interstellar dust. Then came energy-absorbing pigments. Then amino acid-like absorption bands. And finally, the irregular dips and rises that suggested regulated chemical cycles, behavior that looked disturbingly close to metabolism. Even before the full data sets were assembled, it was clear. Webb wasn't just looking at a comet. It was staring at a biological system. Word spread through the research community faster than the object itself moved. For decades, scientists imagined the first detection of alien life would come from a distant exoplanet, filtered through atmospheric spectra, light years away. Nobody expected the first hints to come riding on a cold interstellar traveler drifting into our solar system like a microscopic arc. 3 Eni Atlas wasn't like comets born in the Kuiper Belt or Oort Cloud. It carried a chemical memory shaped by a star system far from our own. A chemistry forged under foreign suns and cosmic histories. If it carried life, it carried an entire lineage older than anything on Earth. The more Webb studied it, the stranger the results became. Its mid-infrared spectroscopy revealed nested molecular arrangements. Not random clusters, but structured networks. Complex polymers arranged in periodic sequences. Energy-absorbing compounds responding to changing radiation levels. Shifting concentrations across time. As if tiny ecosystems inside the object were interacting with one another. The patterns weren't static. They changed. They adapted. They behaved. That dynamism became the turning point. 3i Atlas wasn't just carrying organic molecules. It was carrying living organisms, not visible creatures, not multicellular life, but microbial structures, hardy, active, and astonishingly adapted to the brutal conditions of interstellar space. Organisms that didn't just survive deep space, they used deep space. This forced a fundamental shift in how scientists viewed life. If microorganisms could survive unprotected on an icy interstellar body for millions of years, then life might not be planetary at all. It might be mobile, traveling from system to system, drifting across the galaxy like spores in a cosmic wind. As 3i Atlas moved deeper into the inner solar system, Webb increased its observational cadence. Every new pass revealed more complexity, more signs of regulation, more signs of adaptation. Organic pockets inside the object shifted their chemical activity, depending on sunlight, rotation, and internal temperature. Some pockets even showed rhythmic patterns, reminiscent of biological cycles. 
though unlike anything seen on Earth. And then came the discovery that changed everything. During a period of increased solar exposure, Webb captured a spike of infrared fluorescence, the exact kind of energy response associated with photoreactive organisms. The intensity rose and fell with precision, as if the microorganisms were absorbing radiation, processing it, and using it. These weren't passive hitchhikers frozen in ancient ice. They were active. They were responding. They were alive. If true, this meant life did not begin on planets alone. Life moved. Life spread. Life colonized the galaxy through the slow migration of icy bodies launched from their home systems. Researchers trace 3 eye Atlas's path back to a region rich in star formation. Chaotic, violent, and full of material that could support exotic biochemistries. Its organics contained heavy metal complexes, Earth life never uses, suggesting a lineage shaped by evolutionary pressures unknown here. Some even proposed the life aboard 3i Atlas might predate the solar system itself, making it older than the Earth. But none of this prepared researchers for what came next. Webb detected crystalline structures inside the object, thin, layered scaffolds coated in organic films. These crystals seemed engineered by natural processes into microhabitats where colonies formed, dissolved, reformed, and migrated. Temperature changes triggered phase transitions that acted like heat reservoirs. Radiation caused pigments to cluster into protective shields. Magnetic alignment patterns suggested the organisms were using electromagnetic fields to structure their environment. Nothing matched Earth biology, yet everything behaved like biology. Infrared polarization revealed coordinated molecular orientation across large regions, almost like biological architecture designed for communication or heat control. Spectral analysis showed radical base chemistry that should destroy organic material, but instead appeared to be harnessed as an energy source. Each discovery forced scientists to rethink basic definitions. What is life? What counts as metabolism? What qualifies as evolution in deep space? And as sublimating gases formed a temporary halo around 3i Atlas, Webb detected organic molecules condensing into a structured shell, a chemical envelope that thickened and organized itself into gradients. This halo acted like a living interface between the object and the solar sunlight bombarding it. Within the halo, compounds clustered, separated and rearranged into complex microstructures. Some clusters behaved like primitive colonies, forming temporary protective bubbles. Others, extended outward like scaffolds. The halo wasn't random. It was functional. It was the closest thing humanity had ever observed to a living interstellar cloud. As Webb continued tracking these processes, scientists noticed patterns that suggested internal rhythms, regulated cycles that rose and fell independent of external forces, replication signals, protective mechanisms, chemical pulses that resembled coordinated behavior across microenvironments separated by inches but connected by crystalline networks. This wasn't a static relic. It was a living interstellar ecosystem. But the revelation that shook the scientific world wasn't simply that life existed. It was that the organisms aboard 3i Atlas had adapted to interstellar travel itself. They weren't creatures from a planet. They were creatures from the galaxy. They used extreme cold as a stabilizer, radiation as an energy source, magnetic fields as structural frameworks, phase-changing ices as heat reservoirs, exotic metals as catalytic engines. They were the product of evolution far older and broader than Earth's. And now, as 3i Atlas continues moving closer to the inner solar system, the organisms are waking, responding, changing, revealing more of their complexity with every passing week. Webb wasn't designed to detect life floating between stars, but it found it anyway. And the object carrying that life is still coming closer. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the latest Webb data, 
hit the like button and subscribe. Tell us in the comments what you think this discovery means and whether humanity is prepared for the implications of life arriving from beyond the stars. Because whatever happens next, one thing is clear. Life in the universe did not begin on Earth, and it certainly won't end here.